you. Okay. Uh, next one. We have email that came in from Chuck Smith from Toronto, Canada. Okay. Hey, and Chuck. And he is curious about uh, marination. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it would be meat and or whatever you're doing. Right. How long? Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So. Good question. All right, Chuck, and for everybody else out there, okay. Marination, again. Uh, here, I, I did some notes and, and just from my experience as well. Okay, marination can go from minimum of six hours to 24 hours. I marinate a lot longer in my foods. I find the marination process is key to add flavor to my food in the fridge. Now, so, you know, whether it's brisket, pulled pork, chicken, 48 hours. A lot of people say go 24. And by the way, chicken, just as a footnote, as a meat, can go bad after 48 hours with too much marination. So watch the chicken part. Again, check it out online on social media. Now, the great thing about marination, I'm a steak guy. Are you a steak guy, Mike? No. <laughs> so you can't appease me for chicken. one I'm second. I'm a chicken and fish guy, man. Okay. Come on. For instance, I'll talk about marination on steaks, which is different from your pulled porks and all that. Yeah. On my marination of my steaks that I want, I don't want to take away the taste and the flavor of the steak itself. Right. And people put too much spices on the steak when they're marinating it. Keep it simple, people. You just the ruined it by using that swear word for me. I'm sorry. I know, I know. Food. Sorry. <laughs> Salt and cracked pepper on steak. Well, it's kind of interesting, too, because... And do it for a couple of hours. It brings out the flavor and breaks down the... Uh, the uh, fat content in the steak and it Mar does one it marinates the thing, it much one, better one other thing you haven't talked about as well is What's the, that? It, the tenderizing part that's what i mean it tenderizes yeah. it because that's, that's a big I mean. that's probably a big part because yeah. you, consider you watch a lot of the cooking yeah. shows uh and they always say you know a little bit of salt a uh, little bit of pepper yes to bring out the flavors keep it simple too much it ruins the flavor it overtastes you know it tastes well you're adding around. garlics yeah. and other yeah. stuff that people throw on there right. yeah so very light seasoned in there yeah. um so yeah very important the, yeah. The Texas, I call that my Texas style steak, but I keep it simple. And most chefs will tell you that I've met is, yeah, salt and pepper. Yeah. Yeah. It interesting because and you get a good sear on that sucker. When I had uh, a couple of Mary Brown's fried chicken restaurants. Mm. Um, yeah, that's right. We you generally were would try and marinate for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And we could let it go to 48 hours. <coughs> but after that, we would have to take and change and change out the water because it became too much. Ooh, and depending good point. on how long you do it, mm -hmm. um, it depends on how much salt you put in. You put a little bit of salt for sh for uh, for a long period of time, and mm -hmm. you put a whole bunch of salt in for a short period of time. So so, so true. Yeah, so you're marination. bang on, brother. Yeah. You are bang on. And oh, I want to add that. Sorry if I'm going too long about this subject, guys. A lot of people that marinate in their fridge, their marination, they take it out and they think they can baste their meat while they're cooking it with the same marinade. Right. No, 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 no. The meat has dripped. The raw meat has dripped into your marination. Salt See, throw but it. some people have used the marination after where they boil it, and then they throw it on for basting it when they're cooking it. And I'm going, no, 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 no. I get rid of that. Okay, so here's another problem you can have with with, with marinating as well. You get it. So let's say, like, we, we marinate. The light bulb went off on you, Mike. Well, I know it's just, it sometimes it does. Uh, it, it's a little dim right now. Okay. So dim-witted. So, for example, if you we marinated our chicken the other day before we cooked it in the... Uh, in the oven, I forget right. the, the clay pot, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Yep. Um, so we marinated, and I made sure when I got the chicken out, mm -hmm. I dumped out all of the liquid, all of the water. Very, very much very so. salty. Uh, and then we put a little bit of water in the bottom, maybe only about four or five ounces, like very little. To keep it moist? No, it, it's just a little bit to help it, like in the beginning, to help a little steam the chicken as well before yeah. it starts to release all of its, its uh, uh, liquid out of the chicken. So gotcha. but the mistake you can make is you actually use that same marinated liquid of salt water which is fairly high concentrated mm -hmm. and you put it into the crock pot and cook it your chicken will be absolutely salty oh yeah so you got to drain totally it totally agree don't use it when you're cooking i as uh, and yeah. sorry as a footnote to what sorry. you're saying is once the marination process comes out of the fridge i rinse my meats mm. and put a fresh coat of uh rub on it or you know yeah, nice yeah. raincoat yeah. on it. That's good. 